horrible images coming out of Dunrobin, Ontario and Gatineau, Quebec today after a fierce tornado ripped through the two communities on Friday. Now these are just some of the images that were posted on social media showing the property damage is vast. Homes reduced to rubble, we have businesses destroyed, vehicles toppled over by the wind. For many, they have absolutely nothing left. Scenes of complete devastation left in the wake of a tornado and violent storm that uprooted trees and sent power lines crashing down in the Ottawa Gatineau region. Literally, it looks like some bomb was dropped from the air, and the aerial footage that I saw, the paramedics have provided a drone. Uh, it looked like um, something you know you would see in a movie or you'd see in Tornado Alley in, in Oklahoma. You know, nothing like this I've experienced in all my life living in Ottawa. Ottawa's mayor gave an update at a news conference this morning. He says there have been no fatalities and no reports of missing people, just a trail of destruction left behind. The twister touched down in the Ottawa area neighborhood of Dunrobin and then headed east across the Ottawa River towards Gatineau. Crews from Environment Canada are out assessing the storm's damage today. Early estimates suggest winds topped more than 200 kilometers per hour in some of the hardest hit areas. Videos posted on social media captured the storm's intensity from the dark ominous clouds to roofs being ripped off buildings and debris swirling violently about. One video posted to Twitter showed people rescuing a dog in Dunrobin that had been trapped under the rubble. In another, a woman trapped in her car screams in terror as the tornado roars by in Gatineau, shattering her windows. We've been in there, saw the area. Uh, there's not much left. That's the second floor in the, in the driveway. There used to be a garage. Our daughter's bed and our son's crib is on the front lawn. For those who were able to escape the complete destruction of their homes, they say they're lucky to be alive, but they don't have a house to return to. There are currently dozens of known injuries, some of them critical. Mayor Watson says at this point his city does not require the support of other levels of government, but again, he says it looks like a war zone. And as I toured particularly Dunrobin with Councillor El Shantiri yesterday, uh, you could see that it looked like it was something from a movie scene or a, uh, a, a war scene. Uh, literally dozens and dozens, my understanding is 60 buildings, uh, destroyed or partially destroyed in the Dunrobin area. In a statement issued today, Ontario Premier Doug Ford says he plans to visit the impacted areas in Ottawa tomorrow, adding in part. I especially want to thank the first responders and hydro crews who have been working around the clock to help people. I've told my officials that the provincial government will provide whatever resources are required to support Ottawa as they work to recover. Tens of thousands of hydro customers woke up to no power this morning with Ottawa Hydro and the mayor saying it will be a multi-day outage in some parts of the city. I'm told that the Maryvale transformer was severely damaged and we do not have a current estimate for power restoration, but it will not be hours, it could be days. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau tweeted to everyone dealing with the aftermath of the tornado in Dunrobin, Ontario and the Ottawa Gatineau area. Stay safe, follow the instructions of first responders and check in with people who might need extra help. We are monitoring the situation and thinking of everyone affected.